well, what does it entail? Okay. Well, you know, it's a, it's a big answer, but I'll give you a brief version of it. And frankly, you can call it, you can call, anybody can call and schedule a Zoom consult uh, with us anytime at no cost. Uh, I love doing it. You can see I love talking about this. So I, I'm happy to talk to people one-on-one -on, -one on it and give you more detail. But there are two issues. One is that too high a dose of FSH, which is commonly given because drug companies are advocating it, will hurt the quality of the egg and give will recruit many eggs that aren't any good and it lowers your baby rate per egg so that's one thing you want to just give exactly the right elevation mild elevation of fsh that's necessary to get some more eggs but not hurt the eggs but the second aspect of it is that lh is very important uh, a huge amount of lh is necessary to trigger ovulation once your follicles are ready but in the very early part of your cycle a tiny amount of LH is crucial for egg quality. Now, we've known that for a long time based on work by Terramoto in Tokyo, and now recently some fantastic work by uh, Robert Fischer in Hamburg, Germany. And by the way, you should know that most of the IVF programs, they don't have an international uh, connection, uh, but I think the international sharing of ideas is what makes for a great infertility center. So whether it's Tokyo or Tel Aviv or Hamburg or uh, Shanghai or Guangzhou, uh, you know, uh, the international communication is what gives us uh, such great results because you never know where the best new idea is going to come from. But that's a little bit of an aside. You need the LH uh, as well. So Clomid will give us a mild elevation of FSH, an equal elevation of LH and the, really the best quality eggs. But Clomid hurts the uterine lining temporarily. So when you just give Clomid, the results are terrible. But if you give Clomid and a mild dose of FSH as well, uh, you get really good quality eggs and you can freeze those embryos and then transfer them three months later after the uterine lining has recovered from the negative effect of Clomid on the uterine lining. So it's very innovative uh, and the success rates are fantastic. But one of the many problems is people that try this will only give five days of Clomid because they, they want to do a fresh transfer and they want to have less negative effect on the uterine lining, but that doesn't work. But if you keep giving the Clomid the whole time until you trigger and retrieve the eggs, the Clomid as an anti-estrogen will tell the pituitary that there is no estrogen surge, and so you don't get a premature ovulation, which is what IVF doctors are so worried about. So if you just stay on the Clomid, it protects you from that premature ovulation. And, and that's why so many uh, centers, most centers are afraid to do this protocol because they'll have premature ovulation and lose the egg, but we don't have that problem at all.